Hey everyone and welcome to the latest Echoes Ramble. Today's video we're going to be talking about the AI Nanocore or the Golden Nanocore, whatever name it is that we're settling with. So the let's address this first issue straight out of the box. It is partly turning the game into an idle clicker. We can now boot up the game, undock, press one button and just leave our devices turned on, as long as we've got a stable internet connection that is, for up to eight hours. I say up to eight hours, I've not timed specifically how long it takes for it to max out for the day. But over those eight hours, we can earn as much as, say, 400 mil maybe. You, you can earn a fair bit of money. Um. The point here is this is completely low effort. You don't need any level of interaction with the game. And if the developers aren't careful, we're going to lose like interaction, you know, player to player interaction that makes this game engaging. We could end up with entire communities of people just logging in, pressing that button and just ignoring all forms of chat. Me personally, I've had the AI Nano Core for coming up on a week now. It's, yeah, it's allowed me to take my attention away from the game and still be able to get a half decent income of ISK. Um, yeah, and that time I've been able to pour into other things. That's not a bad thing for me personally, but it does have consequences for the game. What are those consequences? Well, let's think of it this way. At the moment, up until this point, apart from the odd few botters that have managed to go by unnoticed, the majority of us have been able to put in, what, maybe an hour or two a day, just grinding disc. Now everybody in the game, after this three-month mark when those that are grinding it out slowly and going for the free model, as it were, as in the not investing real money into the AI nanocore. Once we hit that threshold, technically speaking, everybody in the game that's playing throughout this time period will have access to the AI nanocore. That means that everybody in the game that has a solid internet connection for an eight hour period every day will be able to bot compl almost completely AFK in high sec and earn ISK. Now you'd think, okay, that's a good thing. That means there's more ISK going around so we can easily better afford the ISK prices that are required to pump into capitals and stuff like that, right? But there are other things that we spend ISK on, like Plex, for example. So where am I going with this? Well, it's the whole supply and demand thing. At the moment, we are pouring more and more ISK into the system with all of this AFK botting that this AI, AI Nanocore is creating. So what we're going to see is those few important things that we are still actively buying in the game they're just going to go up in price and that will go up in price kind of it'll go up in relation to how much more isk is being generated by us uh, afk botting with the AI nanocore it will level out at a certain point and once it does it will price out anybody who isn't actively using this nanocore it's not really a good thing it would be nice if the devs found a way of making the game a lot more engaging as opposed to just automating all of the boring stuff. So those are the consequences going forwards. It doesn't help with a recruitment drive for new players. If all... Yeah, this It's really hard to explain with this one. But as I just alluded to, prices are most likely going to be going up for things like Plex and other modules and stuff. Now imagine coming in as a new player. You don't have that three months behind you already to grind the resources for free for setting up your golden AFK nanocore. 
In addition to that, you haven't even gotten to Tech 10 yet, or even Tech 8 where, say, the Bulgorn is. You haven't even gotten to that level to get a decent ship to then set on the AFK and Nanocore. You're really going to be starting much, much further behind. It's just yet another uh, barrier to overcome for new players. And, yeah, it, it's just taken us away from the game. It's given us less reasons to actually engage with it and help people out. Hell, I've had this AI Nanocore running for the past two days for about seven to seven and a half hours straight, just earning me easy isk. And personally, I'm happy earning easy isk. That's why before the start of the war, I had three capsular outposts. I just AFK autopilot up there a couple of times a day, just while I was at work with a poor internet connection, grab the PI, haul it to Jita, sell, rinse and repeat the following day, jobs are good. Un. But that was different. It was different in that there was risk involved. You could still have your interceptor caught out by those uh, sniping dramules at one point, and anybody at any time could come along and shoot down your outposts. Hell, that happened to two of them. So, yeah, there was actual risk involved. These AI nanocores, they're being set up, or at least in my case, and I presume in 90% of other cases, they're being set up in high sec. There's no risk. There's no risk unless the nanocore decides to shut down all of your low slot modules. And that's a good segue into the next part of this discussion. The low effort, not just on our part, but on NetEaser's part. If you have the AI nanocore, have a look at how it behaves when you're out in space ratting. Um, when I say how it behaves, I'm spe talking specifically about things like its targeting priority, how it spreads out the modules, how even how it turns on the modules. So you'll notice that there is a lengthy delay between the, a wave of NPCs spawning and your ship deciding to lock. There is then another lengthy delay as the ship doesn't actually activate a single module until every single ship in that group has been locked. That group being, you know, your maxed amount of targets that you can lock at a time. In addition, when you're switching from one target to another, your tanking module's turned off. Yeah, just, just like that. Occasionally you'll find yourself at 30% armor just because the ship decided, I don't need tanking modules yet because I'm still locking on to my target. Um, yeah, it also spreads out the weaponry and spreads out the E-War and doesn't necessarily orbit the target that you know, you're struggling to hit the most while you're split firing. And all of this is because they've basically taken the AI behind the NPCs in the game already, slapped it onto our ships and called it jobs are good. And then just threw on an extra couple of settings like being able to warp to the cosmic anomalies or the encounters. It's, I know it's still in beta, but it doesn't feel like it had very much development time before it even got released into beta. As in, I'm talking, it probably had a week or two before we got given it as it is at the moment. Um, Yeah, it just feels like a rushed job. And I wouldn't be surprised if, with all of the upcoming changes and uh, new features and so on, like, for example, the big corporation changes that were pushed back at least one month from April to May. I wouldn't be surprised if those took priority and this got pushed back because it wouldn't be the first new feature that NetEase have released said that it's going to get better and not touched for God knows how long. Let's look at the Faction War Games, for example. That's been broken for how long now? It's, technically, it's been broken since it was released, you know, once people got bored of the very first map. That's not been resolved. That's still there as it is. The devs have told us that the AI Nanocore 
is in a beta form, but are they ever going to actually improve it from a beta form? We're not going to know. Um, personally, I wouldn't be all that upset if they didn't improve upon the AI Nano Core because we need a reason to be physically engaging with the game. If they made this Nano Core uh, AI option as effective at ratting as a human player, then there just wouldn't be any reason to play the game anymore, would there? From a PvE perspective, that is. For PvP players, yeah, fine. You know, you can go and hunt down AFK players that are guaranteed not to shoot back in Nullsec if you can find them. That is assuming they're not set up in high sec instead where it's perfectly safe. I know I am. So it can be yet another death nail in this game's coffin if netties are not particularly careful about it. So that's all I have to say about the AI Nano Core as it stands at the moment. You can be assured that there will be future videos covering the AI Nano Core as they come to mind. At some stage, I will be writing a quick walkthrough or tutorial for you guys for how to engage with the Nano Core for those of you that are interested. And if there are any further developments on it, I will surely cover it in a ramble. But until then, thanks again for listening. If you want to hear more of these rambles, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again.